So guys, I've got a bit of a different video idea today. So back in 2018, Romelu Lukaku suggested why don't the Premier League organise a North versus South game, which is pretty much the Manchester teams and Liverpool against the London teams. I thought it was a sick idea, so I thought, you know what, I'll do an experiment of myself and I want to do it over on FIFA. So I'll go show you the teams that I have built. Yes, lads, I heard you guys are needing some coins. So I've got you a coin website, boys. Use code MUZ up for up to 5% off. Links are in the description, boys. You can literally get 100k coins for $10. Absolute bag of chips. Links in the description. Use Muzz for 5% off. Do it right now. Love that. Right, okay, guys. This is my self team that I have picked personally. This is not based on FIFA ratings. It's based on purely this season and purely my opinions on who should be in this self team. So, um, starting off in goal, we've gone with Leno from Arsenal. In, in my opinion, better than Lloris and Kepa. Just, I think Leno's been pretty good, especially to the back end of the season. Pulled off some un unreal saves for Arsenal. Um, for right back and left back, we have gone with Pereira and Chilwell. There's a debate whether Leicester's in the north or the south. I've searched it up and apparently it's close to the south. So we've put Leicester in the south. So they're going to be part of the London team. So we've gone with Chilwell and Pereira, two of the best fullbacks in the league. Personally, just better than anyone that Arsenal and Spurs... Um, and West Ham, like all them. And shout out to Wamba Saka, by the way. We've got Wamba Saka on reserves. He was, he nearly made it, but for me personally, this is my team. I've gone with Pereira because I, I, I just prefer Pereira. But we've got Wamba Saka there. I've got a lot of good nominees on the bench and stuff as well, and on reserves that I'll give a shout out to. Two centre backs are gone with Vitoni and Alderweireld. Um, a shout for Maguire, but personally, I think them two pretty much cemented in. Uh, CDMs we've gone with Kante and Ndidi. Kante, obviously, no debate. And Diddy's been very good this season. Very good. Wouldn't be surprised if he gets snatched up by a big team. Um, but Sissoko's been absolutely brilliant for Spurs, which has been a huge surprise. Jorginho, one of the most underrated players in the Prem. Um, Loftus-Cheek, I nearly put Loftus-Cheek in, but I was like, nah, we've got to give it and Diddy. Madison, I love, but not CDM. Who else we got? Um, I'll show you the reserves as well. We've got Mille, Mille, Mille Jojovic or something for Crystal Palace. He's been very good for... Um, for Crystal Palace, we've got Ruben Neves. Um, Deli Ali's not been the best, but Harry Winks, he's out injured currently. But T. Elements as well, currently on loan at Leicester, he's been very good. So there's the CDMs. Anyway, moving into the left wing, right wing, cams, whatever you want to call it. So on the left, we'll call it left wing, even though they are cams, we'll call it left wing. Uh, so on the left wing, we do have the best player in the Prem, Eden Hazard, if I can get to his fucking name. Can I get to your name, mate? There we go. Eden Hazard on the left wing, no debate. Best player in the best player in the Prem, best player in London. Boom, on the left hand side. So we've had to put Son on the right hand side. Some of you guys might think maybe Madison. I was thinking about starting Madison because he's been brilliant this season. Obviously Eriksson's in for a shout. Um, Mesut Özil, I wouldn't really put him in for a shout this season. Philippe Anderson's been decent. Deli Ali, I wouldn't really put in with a show. I've just put so some of these guys. I've just put. A, they've had like a, a decent season, just an average season. Just put them on the reserves for a little shout out. Son on the right, Hazard on the left. I think that's decent for them too. So moving up to the striker positions, we've gone with Harry Kane and Lacazette. I don't think this is much of a, a much of a debate. Harry Kane currently out injured, but I think he's still on 17 goals, even even though he's been injured for quite a few games. And Lacazette, I rate. A lot higher than uh, than Aubameyang. I don't know what you guys think, but I think Lacazette is so good, man. He's so good. Played on the left a little bit this season as well. We've got Jimenez, who's been sick. Delafeu plays on the right hand side more. Aubameyang's in with a shout. Big Andy C. Shout out to Andy C. I had to put him in. I had to put him in. But anyway, there's our um, South Southern team. I put them for Dortmund and I put the Northern team for Bayern. Absolutely no reason behind it. Just to like the kits. So we've gone with. For the Northern team, Bayern Munich. So this is the Manchester teams. We've got the we've got Liverpool. We've got Everton in there, and a few other teams. Uh, so we'll start off and go. We've gone with Edison. There's obviously De Gea. There's Allison. It's a tough one, but for me this season, Edison's been best keeper in the Prem. Debatable with Allison, but yeah, Edison in goal. So in the right back spot, we've gone with Trent Alexander-Arnold. For me, it's not even a debate, especially with these Manchester and uh, in, in the Liverpool team. Kyle Walker's been pretty poor this season. There's no one else really in, in with a shout. So, Trent Alexander-Arnold's quite an easy one there. Two centre-backs, no one can argue with this. Laporte and Van Dijk, absolutely unreal. Van Dijk, probably the best in the world. Laporte's 
probably top five best in the world, if not up there, top six, top six. Uh, left back, Robertson, one of the best in the world. Don't have to really debate this. I mean, Dinya's had a really good season for Everton, but he just gets a shot out on the reserves. Not getting over Robertson. Uh, CDM, maybe a little debate, but for me personally, not really. Fernandinho currently out injured, I believe. Um, Fabinho's been sick since coming in for Liverpool. Didn't actually start many games at the start of the season, but he came in and he's been very good. Uh, but Fernandinho, for me, when, when Man City haven't got him, they, they, they don't play as well, I don't think. Fernandinho's brilliant, man. So he gets in there. This is a tough one, man. This left centre mid spot was a really tough one because look at some of the names we've got. So I've decided to pick Wijnaldum because Wijnaldum, I'm a big fan of Wijnaldum. Um, but the contenders, we could have had Fabinho in there, played two CDMs. We could have had uh, David Silva, Paul Pogba, who, mm, not sure of Paul Pogba, man. Really not sure. I do rate him, but he's very inconsistent. De Bruyne hasn't had the best season. I've just put, put him in for a shout out because he's a very good player. But unlucky with injuries, he's come back, not played the best, but I've got to give him a shout out because he's been injured. Phil Foden. Not bad. Shout out again. Herrera, Shakiri, McTominay. McTominay's been probably Man United's best player recently. But yeah, I think Wijnaldum does edge it. I think a lot of people will agree with that. Wijnaldum's been sick for Liverpool. Uh, moving into the cam spot, Bernardo Silva, contender for player of the season. I can't believe how good he was. I knew he was good for Monaco. Didn't didn't realise he was this good. Did not really. I don't I don't think anyone did. But his dribbling, his close ball dribbling is unreal. Uh, right wing, we've gone with Salah. I mean, I don't like him as a player, but you cannot argue that he can't. He doesn't deserve to be in this in this team. Uh, same with Raheem Sterling. Raheem Sterling's actually been playing a lot of left wing this season instead of Sané. But um, so I put Sterling on the left. But yeah, I don't even need to debate this really, do I? And then striker position, we've gone with Aguero. I'm putting Aguero over Roberto Firmino. Um, Aguero's been brilliant. Firmino. I do rate Firmino a lot, but he's not been as good as last season. So there we go, boys. There's my North versus South team. What I'm going to do is I'm going to jump into a kickoff game. The computer's going to play against each other. We're going to see who's going to win. My prediction, who do I think is going to win? I think it's got to be the North team, man. This this Bayern Munich team is insane. But So is the London team, but... You never know. When you've got Eden Hazard, you never know. But anyway, boys, I would love to know what changes you'd make for both my teams. It was a tough de decision, but I feel like I've almost got it right. I've almost got it right. It was definitely a tough call, but yeah, boys. Let's go, boys. Let's see what happens. Here we go, boys. I am predicting that Bayern Munich will take the win. The Northern team. In real life, I'd love to see this happen. I don't think it would happen, but if this was to happen, it would be so sick. And... Pfft, who do you guys think would win out of the Northern and Southern teams in real life? Um, me being biased, I'm probably going to back the... Nah, there's no way you can back the Southern teams. The way uh, Liverpool and Man City have dominated is unbelievable this season. But here we go, boys. We'll watch the cinematics. I've put this in the Champions League final. So here we go, boys. Enjoy the cinematic. Here we go, boys. Kicking off for the Southern team is Lacazette. Wijnaldum into Bernardo Silva. They are knocking the ball around nicely here. Here's Salah out wide. Trent Alexander-Arnold down the right-hand side. Gives it into Salah. R into Bernardo Silva. Bernardo Silva. And they are already 1-0 up within three minutes. It's a bit of an AIDS goal. But Bernardo Silva, contender for play of the season, has put the Northern team... 1-0 up. Who was that? Who's the guy that blocked it? Was it Vertonghen? Vertonghen blocks it. Can't react to the second ball. Bernardo Silva just slots it home. 1-0. Oh, he takes one to the balls. Yo. F in the chat for Vertonghen. Jesus Christ. And Andino wins it back nicely. Aguero! Off the bar. Wijnaldum into Sterling. And I'll tell you something. It's all the northern team right now. It's a good little save from Leno there. Tipping it over the bar. For a corner to Bayern Munich. Making the throw in into Kante. Kante. Into Ndidi. Been a brilliant player this season. Eden Hazard into Harry Kane. Does get a shot on target. And it looks like it's going to be a free kick actually. I'm not too sure. What kind of contact was Hazard's going to... Hazard's going to take it. Hazard. Oh, just over the bar. Inches away from Hazard. Very close. There, Kante. Here's some nice play from 
the Southern team. And Diddy with a great ball into Lacazette. Here's Lacazette. Lacazette into Kante. He finds Lacazette. Lacazette scuffs his shot. I tell you something though, the Southern team are coming back into this game. Some nice little play and Lacazette scuffs his shot on his left foot. I'm not too sure how good Lacazette is on his weak foot, but I was a poor shot. It's poor from the Northern team. Kante with a great through ball to Kane. Kane holds it up. Here's Lacazette. Lacazette finds some space. Bangs one! And it's a great save from Edison. But I tell you something, the Southern team are really coming into this game. And they are press pressuring. They're really pressing for this goal. That's a great save from Edison. Good decision from me to choose Edison. Alisson wouldn't have saved that. They're really going into this game. And Diddy into Hazard. Harry Kane! Miles over the bar. Check your garden, boys. That was an awful shot from Harry Kane. But I'll tell you something. The build-up play, once again, absolutely sick from the Southern team. And if it carries on like this, I see the Southern team scoring very soon. Son goes for a long-range shot. Bit of a weird decision, that was. Yeah, what the fuck, Son? Yeah, Kante, you piss Kante off now, Son. Why would you shoot from there? Oh, it's an awful kick! And did he? Oh, my God. If it would have fell to any other player, the Southern team would have probably scored there. Edison, that is very unlike Edison in real life. Kante goes for a shot on his left foot. Bit of a weird decision, but it is a corner kick. Hazard with the corner kick. Once again, not the best at corners in real life. He does put in a decent corner into Vertonghen. And it's Valdebarold. And it's 1-1. Just on the brink of half-time. Hazard puts in an absolute unbelievable ball in. Unlike real life. Dog shit in real life, but what a cross in. Vertonghen hits the bar. Bounces off Edison's back, I believe. Let's watch this again. Hazard with the ball in. The tongue and leaps up. And uh, Alderweireld with a poacher's finish in the right place at the right time. And it is 1-1. It's very deserved. The Southern team have been pressing this goal. And I don't know what's happened with the Northern team. But they've been playing some really dodgy passes. 1-1. One, one, and it's been pretty... We'll have a look at the stats. But it's been pretty much all the Southern team. The, uh, the London team. But... Um, it actually has been 51% to the Bayern Munich team, but I don't know how that is actually the case. It looked like it was all the London team, but in terms of chances, they've had 11 shots. But the stats have actually been pretty even. It didn't. It don't feel like that, but according to stats, it's been a pretty even game. And it's been 1-1. Really, really good play in real life, Pereira. Really good ball in. It's home, it's on! And straight off kickoff, the kickoff glitch. Some people may say... Holmwyn Son makes it 2-1 to the Southern team. And I'm actually very surprised, especially on FIFA anyway. Because, uh, yeah, what a ball in from Pereira. And Son gets in a good position. It's awful defending from the port. I don't know who he's marking there on the edge of the box. But what a header from Son. Could Edison have saved this? Let's watch this. Son, nah, straight in the corner. Edison can't get near that. What a header from Son. But come on, the London team take the lead. Let's go. Son gives it away terribly. That's an awful ball from him. And is it Chil Chilwell's out of position? Into Salah! And they do capitalise. And it is 2 2. Mohamed Salah does get on the score sheet like he normally does in real life. But that was an awful, awful pass by, I think it was Hung Min Son. Absolutely terrible. Not even close to one of his teammates. And yeah, Chilwell was caught out of position. And Salah, on his weaker side, does make it 2 2. Yeah, Chilwell was out of position. And Salah on his right foot. What a strike. Straight into the top corner. Who's going to get there first? Kante always gets there first, mate. Kante. Fucking unbelievable, mate. Love that from Kante. As Pereira can put a ball in. It has it! And he does make it 3-2. The best player in the Premier League makes it 3-2. What a ball in from Ricardo Pereira. For his second assist of the match. I debated whether to put wan Saka or Pereira in. And Pereira has been absolutely brilliant. What a ball in, and Eden Hazard just gets a toe poke. Absolutely unbelievable. Love that from Hazard. It's a great finish. Edison's not stopping that. Son. They're just knocking the ball away around so nicely. Jorginho, here's Kane. Son. Son on the left-hand side. Into Hazard! Oh, my God. It is just wide. It's pretty awful defending. Hazard managed to find quite a bit of space there. VVD just switches off. Just like he did against the first leg in Barcelona. 
few triggered Liverpool fans in there, but boom, this Southern team. Kante into Harry Kane! Was he onside? That's the question. It looks like he was off. He was onside. That's a huge chance to make it 4-2. They have had so many chances to bury this game off. It's a brilliant save from Edison. And their first change of the game is going to be David Silva coming on for the Northern team. And Harry Kane makes it 4-2 from a lovely ball in from Hazard. This is kind of unrealistic. Two unbelievable crosses from corners from Hazard. And Harry Kane on the front post. I don't know who was marking. It was actually Van Dijk marking him. Harry Kane loses his marker. Terrible defending from Van Dijk again. Poor from Van Dijk. The beatable best in the world. Harry Kane, lovely movement. And boom, front post. David Silva just comes on. Cannot stop it from going over the line. And it looks like it's going to be game over. 4-2 to the Southern team. I'm not going to lie. I was not expecting it to be like this. And it's been pretty much all the Southern team, really. Mane just kicks it over. I do believe Mane has just been subbed on. It's quite, they, that's the problem. This Whoever the manager is of this Northern team, they have brought in some late substitutions. They should have maybe made some changes earlier. Um, but... I'm pretty surprised the way this has gone. It's been pretty much a whitewash from this southern team. But, yeah. We'll see if they can get a goal back. Here's Mane into Salah. Mane, lovely ball into Aguero. Aguero, chips on back stick. And Ricardo Pereira, arguably the best player on the pitch. Really good defending right there. And there we go, boys. It does finish 4-2 to the southern team, the London team. They do win the Champions League, as usual. There we go, boys. They do beat the Northern team, which is a shock to me. I did predict that the Northern team would win, but it was a 4-2, and it was quite a, white, a whitewash, to be fair. It should have been more than four, to be fair. But that's interesting, boys. That's very interesting. We're going to see them celebrate. So like, so, so, like I was saying, boys, I mean, in terms of possession, it was pretty even, but this is what I mean. In terms of chances, it could have been way more than four. 18 shots, four four goals. Edison did have a really good game. I'm interested to see the player ratings. Man of the match did go to Ricardo Pereira. I did say he was probably the player of the match. It was between him and wan -Bissaka that I was going to start. I did choose Ricardo Pereira because it was my team and I do slightly prefer Pereira in real life. So we went with Pereira and bro, he was sick. Absolutely sick. That's not actually the formation I played with. I, I played with a 4 triple 2 Not too sure why um, they've got that formation. But yeah, goals did come from Alderweireld, Humminson, Hazard and Harry Kane. And for the Bayern Munich team, it did come from Salah. Just Salah. Oh, I know why the formations are different. It's because the managers must have changed it in-game. So they needed a goal, so they switched to three at the back. And uh, yeah, so boom. Interesting match, boys. Uh, I'm surprised it did end the way it did. But yeah, boys, there's the experiment. I doubt it would end like that in the real in real life, but who knows? So if you guys have got any different suggestions to do for different challenges next time, please do leave them in the comments. Please do drop a like. 50 likes would be sick. Drop a sub if you're new, and I'll catch you in the next one. Peace.